guys, Cruel Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with Attack on Titan. Last time, what happened? Wrong. Uh, Wrong well, Wrong the last of the Titans has has left. Yeah, the caboose came by. Now yeah. the last of the Titans have combined and formed a new group. The five. I don't know. What no, those are... <clears throat> Those are real Titans. We found right? Annie eating pie. Oh, Aaron, I saw someone uh, when you were talking about, like, well, just go from the back and we'll just kill them all until we get there. Someone was doing the math. Like, to kill one million, if it if you killed one a second, it would take you 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! And there's like, and there's like 10 million. <laughs> it was really funny. One a second? Yeah. Man, to kill one a second it would take eleven days. It's a lot. It was really funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we do have uh, all the other Titan shifters kind of all on one side now, right? With Annie. Well, we like five Titans, pie. right? Yeah. Five Titans, one a second. Five Titans in a second. Mm -hmm. That's cutting it down. You can do math. Too. Actually, if it's five million, then that's still the same amount of time. Which we're pretty sure it's more than that. Okay, so it's twenty-two days. Okay, one month we can kill them all. Done. They've probably already encircled the Earth twice by then. They're slow. We also had Connie uh, going to feed Falco to his mom. But Armin said, no, I'll be the food. It was, uh, it was a nail biter. <laughs> but yeah, now uh, we have to decide what we're going to do. We're going to save the world, but how the fuck do we do we that? Signal four gunshots and eat them in the mouth. So like the, the one dude, what's the guy's name? Who was the guy that was going to kill everybody? Oh, Flock? Yeah, yeah Flock, right? Yeah. He thinks John should be dead and stuff too, right? Yeah. So Presumably. They have like... John some, is dead. some surprise elements, but they don't. I don't know. Who, I don't know what they're doing. Save the world or parody. And we saved Onion or Capone. Both? I don't know. I, had you I don't know how you do anything to Aaron, right? With, with how he is right now, because uh, he wants it. The only thing I could think of is like unleash Levi, but we can't because he's hurt. He is hurt, but not if we have him eat. I don't know. If and he wants Zeke. He doesn't care about. Him. Yeah, I don't think he cares. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see what happens. Although Zeke is on Aaron's back. They need that, that anti-Titan rifle. Just snipe right through him. <laughs> what, well, Flock? Yeah. Fuck everybody else, though. <laughs> Fuck everybody else. Just kill him. Is that one lady the one that... Uh, She's from the, the island. From, from Mikasa's, like... Yeah. Asmo B2. Home Asmo place, B2. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep. This She's was... the one with the flying airship thingy. They just need to have, like... Kind of like tossing out all the grievances. I like the idea that they're talking about, like John being like, "Thank you, this is selfless." To get all our grievances out there, we talk about them. Yeah, no, it's great because right, so every other show, they'll just jump into something and then it'll start happening in the middle of the battle, and the sure. audience is like, "Why now?" <laughs> yeah, here I just want to like, see the fight. Yeah, here it's like a campfire. It's yeah. a, the airing of grievances, which is it's a, it's festivus. It is, I, mean, I guess, <laughs> and it's not like it's all magically fixed. No, it's, no, they all just. Have a common goal. Yeah. Sure. Like, I like the Mikasa and Annie thing. And Annie believing, like, you guys won't be able to kill him. But Annie also being like, I'm not against changing his mind. Yeah. But if that doesn't work, I don't want my dad to die being trampled. Yeah. You know, and Gabby's on the same boat where he's like, please, you know, I know we did terrible things to you. And I know a lot of this is my fault because I, you know, I killed Sasha yeah. and did this and did that. Yeah. But, like, please don't let our home be trampled. And on know? the other side, like, Aaron didn't want his mom to die. No. Yeah. And this cycle of revenge has been happening for 2,000 years. Sure. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's the thing, too, where it's like the argument Everyone of... Everyone has a reason. Like, are we to blame for what Eldians did 2,000 years ago? Mm -hmm. Like, we weren't here. Yeah. We've been living behind walls. Most people didn't even know about any of this stuff going on, sure. you know? Like, Sins of the Father. Yeah. Like, at what point can we move to the next step and start forgiving each other and start working together versus... Oh, well, I hate them because they did this. And I, well, I hate them because they did this. And then just keep back and forth. And now yeah. you don't have an eye. And now you don't have a hand. McGath will <laughs> never change. <laughs> I don't know. There was something about him that had, like, a look from the Gabby heart. Like, Gabby and Falco being like, please, we're begging you. And I don't want to lose my home. And I feel I feel like it's my fault for what has happened because of the things I've done. And there was just something where I felt like they almost got to him more than they got to Jean. Uh, Jean? Jean? Yeah. How you yeah. say it? But... But then yeah. he, he showed back up, too, and was like, let's go, Gabby. So, I don't know. It'd be awesome if the commander, like, changed or had a little bit. Like, it's, yeah. it's like what Hanji said. 
Like, you're not going to convince him overnight or anything. Yeah. But, and from his perspective, he's not, he doesn't see it as wrong, mm -hmm. you know. As I was saying, it's, it's like John's beliefs versus Commander, what is it? M M McGath. 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 Versus, like, his beliefs. Yeah. Like, they both believe that this is what it is when <sighs> well, you've got to change that somehow. Like, Aaron is the only one that, right, that understands that the children of Ymir and the Eldian Empire are not the same thing. Like... The children of Ymir, the one that they're getting all these, all this revenge on, yeah, were done wrong, yeah. by the Eldian Empire, mm -hmm. yeah. They were like they were abused. They were age, yeah, abused by the Eldian Empire long before they abused other people. <laughs> sure. And then they just kind of like through the generations it sprinkled into everything, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Eldian Empire and the children of Ymir. Giving yeah. birth, having kids, and over two thousand years, more people are just dispersed, changed, and affected by this bloodline. So, yeah, I don't think you can change his mind. I don't know, Aaron's. Yeah, I mean, I feel like well, this season we got introduced to Gabby to have a mirror of Aaron. Sure, and her mind changed. Sure. She was exactly like, I will kill every one of them and do anything I can. But, da, 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 da. but Aaron, she, has, that's his mind changed in season one. Like, is it too late? <laughs> like, Aaron has forged his will through fire and then more fire and more fire. I and guess then this, lots know, of blood. The similarity there is if the commander can change. His, yeah. His beliefs arguing with John, you know, like they're back and forth there. Like, John obviously is okay with helping them to save their people, right? Like, he's getting to that point where it's like, I will help you, even though he's viewing it as like, well, we do this, now we've just weakened ourselves, and you guys will just kill us later on anyway. But can the commander change enough, too, to where, like, this happens, and then is he high enough up? Is he like, like, we killed Willie, and a lot of people, a lot of people died over there in, in the Marlian city. Yeah. Like, where is this commander at in the hierarchy of... Who's in charge of it? Like, if he survives this and they stop Aaron, can he go back and be like? Well, I don't think they're a mil military are... state, right? So he would be the head of the military, but not necessarily like they have ruling families and stuff, right? That Willie Tyler was they like, have royal inside. Sure, yeah. I'm trying to think of like where they all kind of fall because Willie had been gone for a while, right? Well, and it, he showed back. And up. also, the Tibers yeah. ruled behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like there was a figurehead. Yeah, so that. we had something else, and then Willie and them were all hiding away. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, is he high enough up that he could help? Facilitate a talk of some sort between Marlins oh, and things. You I know? would say that he, he was he's in that position. I mean, he was just of, just the commander of the candidate Titans, right? At like the he, very he least, he's like also well, that, fully in yeah. charge of he, like Zeke and all that. He was they reported the higher up, but he got promoted before they left. Okay, pretty sure he's a general now. Yeah, he's a general. Like he was a major or whatever, but after they lost. Almost all of their military, he got promoted real quick and real high. Because he's been, he's felt like the guy who was leading here when they came to attack Parody. I just wondered, like, how strong is he? And if, if so, do we get to the point where, like, sure, say we stop Aaron, can we have, like, Hanji or whoever is left to kind of help lead Parody and the commander and whoever else is important back in Marley to kind of start bro brokering a peace deal? And then you can start working with the rest of the world, too. Though, I don't know how many people hate the Marley, Marlene Empire over there because they have been not great to people over in the rest of the world, either. Sure. Remember that's that, the thing. If they, they, they did town, have that alliance. And that one town they were just destroying, like, just dropped off. Aaron, I feel like, has ruined all of those chances, or at the very least made it nearly impossible. Like, if they stop him, the rest of the world will be like, we have to go stop them before they do this again. Yeah. Right? If he doesn't it's do gonna it... It's going to be the exact same situation yeah. as the start. They're almost. Where they're like, it's only a matter of time. It's it, it's it's practically we have to choose our island or the rest of the world. Sure. It's, and it's. I guess the difference comes down to what hap Like, if you stop Aaron, what happens to all the rumbling titans? Like, is there is there a way where you can end it to where like you don't just like all right put these guys back in the wall and we'll save them for later? Because like, what does it mean to like have to make them all again? How long does mm -hmm. that take? And then you know, like, if, if there is none. You know, like, you have atomic bombs, but if no one has atomic bombs, you have to make them. Sure. You know, there's, like, a longer process I of know. it versus, like... Like, can Aaron relinquish the power? Sure. Or, like, can he kill Ymir? Yeah. Or free Ymir? Like, what's the... Do you have to 
grow them? I don't figure they came from nothing. So did they, like, infect a bunch of people when they made this wall? And then turn them into these titans? And then make the wall? Or did the walls just, like... You know, you know what I mean? Like, where these giant titans come from? I, I mean, assume from they were originally we've seen, people. They're, they've always been people. Yeah. So you must have made original people, yeah. <clears throat> forced them to march into a wall format, and then put them in these walls forever. I mean, that's what the the king would have done. He so if you commanded it to happen, if if whatever he does and it kills off these rumbling titans, we don't have them anymore. Then there's like a longer process of having to infect all of them and get people to be these giant titans. So I don't know. I loved. No! Oh my goodness! Not that the blessing, but I loved like all the scouts looking at the remaining scouts and like <sighs> judging them. That was so emotional. Oh man, yeah, it's Seen crazy everybody. how many we've lost. It so is. Many. I'm just thinking about Levi's so squad. many. How much I love the Levi squad. I yeah. wonder. The guy I kept biting his tongue. <laughs> I wonder how many in the background there are recognizable throughout. You know what I mean? Yeah. I recognize like, almost everybody in the front row. Like the difference between like just making an audience in the background or having like here is you know here's Marco here's I mean especially considering we haven't seen a lot of them in the new art style it's slightly yeah. different. You know that was the thing but, with like Marco right because Marco yeah. died in. Was it season one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, having his death, I'm like, oh, is that Marco? It's like, I think, but I haven't seen what he looks like in this one, you know? When we switch to Aaron, like, yeah. is that is he also grown up? You know, is that, like, grown up dead Marco? Because <laughs> it adds a little, an extra layer there where it's mm-hmm. like, well, here's how many years have passed. Here's what he would look like. Sure. It's just what uh, Armin went through, again, this episode, right? It's like, not just what Aaron would do, but everybody looking at him. At them, what would they want? If they had all the information you had, what would they do? I liked having that little moment there over the intro. <laughs> like I know the intro's okay, but like that there had like a good like. I, mean, I look at all this yeah. behind them and what they've come from and what mm-hmm. has died. And in the intro is Aaron's rage, right? Like it's that's the rumbling. It's Ymir and Aaron's rage, whereas here it's like that's not the focus right now. Right now it's the other side. It's what do we do to save the world? Sure. And is that even the right? Here's decision? our small group of people to stop these Jaegerists yeah. and this Aaron yeah. Stampede. And- the hope of the world comes down to this group having Hanji stew, and they all hate each other. <laughs> Which that's what Hanji stew. Hanji stew seems very important. Yep. Enough that it has a a middle card for public disclosure. They're not drinking Zeke's wine, right? No. Because <laughs> it zoomed in on the bottle as if it was important. I don't think I was so. like, but there's no way. Yeah. I thought it was ketchup at a point. Ketchup? <laughs> they were drinking ketchup? Made ingredients pelfered from nearby villages. The stew is cooked by Hanji. Contains a generous amount of potatoes to help fill the stomach. Mm-hmm. Get those starches. Potatoes. Yeah. It's like, uh, that's why I was thinking of Sasha, Sasha like, oh, would be man, happy. Potato Girl would love this. She's here <laughs> with us, too. Yeah. I didn't, was she in the background? Did anyone notice if she was there? I'm sure the... she was, but I didn't notice her. Yeah. I was really curious on like how many be like, oh, this is this one, this one, this one. But just think of how many we've seen die. Yeah. How many we At least that many. How many we haven't seen. I liked Yelena's going through and being like, you know, Reiner, when you did this, how many pure titans ate people, you know? When... Annie did this. How many scouts did she kill on her quest to get Aaron? Remember, when uh, Armin blew up the bay. How many civilians yeah. that died during that, you know? Was it the beginning of season two? When did we first see the Beast Titan? Because there was that one guy that was like, he's second only to Captain Levi, you know? And they're like, holy shit, this guy's a badass. And he broke down when he saw the Beast Titan. Completely broke his mind. Yeah. They go, I thought you could speak this language. And then it sent the Titans on him. So many great characters in here that like season three. I think we just all get torn alive, torn open, eaten alive, torn alive. Um, I don't remember. (sighs) And every single Titan we've seen killed was a person at one point. True. How much is left? One episode. I don't know about this part, but we do have part three coming next year as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now the plan is we got to get the flying boat. Yep. And that will fly us over and get to Aaron. Yep. But they don't have enough fuel to just fly around and look for him. Yeah. They have to know where he is. I assume he's in the front. 
So well, I guess just follow the giant. But I think. Titans. But the giant they've huge gone titans have already yeah. different ways. I yeah. think. Like, like I think it's not. Let's go to one place and trample it. I think it's let's trample everywhere at once. Well, they were walking off in a direction. One direction. Like, they're not going that way. They're going that way. What's that mean? I figure it just like at the very least like a flying V, you know. Like a delta? A flying V. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if you're on... I don't know. If you're on an island, like Australia. If you're in Australia, right? Let's say that's Paradis. In order to go to the rest of the world, you might just head towards, like, Asia way. Sure. And then once you start getting to the coast, you just start then you spanning out, out to different locations and stuff. So if it is something like that, if they have gotten to the water and they're going that way and sp- fanning out... Which they're, way is Aaron going? They're going to the mainland, Flock. wiping that out, and then going to the next. Yeah, because some could head more Africa mainland. way, while yeah. some are heading towards like Japan and stuff. And then you head, you know. Like, sure. At the very least, Flock claims that Aaron told him his whole plan, so Flock will be the one to tell you where he's going. So we kidnap Flock, yep. force him. So we don't kill him yet. No, but we do torture him extensively, <laughs> a lot. This is the group to do it. Well, sure. and yeah, Hanji would be down. <laughs> like it's such a terrible situation because I feel like they can't. I mean, hopefully they can convince him. I feel like you can't fight him in the ocean. That just seems like a terrible prospect. Can you drown him? So you have to wait till he gets to land. But by the time he gets to land, it's too late. Now things are getting trampled. You just have. You like... definitely can't fight him in the ocean if he's a whale. <laughs> yeah, he has the advantage. <laughs> you just have like a thousand colossal titans all do like this, like as they're like under the. Water. Well, they're holding them up. It's just nothing. Well, no, but it's just like nothing but just hands as platforms. It's like crowd surfing, <laughs> like a litter. Yeah. But literally making... surfing. <laughs> I don't know. The Titan Island, made of hands. I would hate they, that. Who do you think? If someone kills him, who do you think it is? Armin. Armin. I mean, Mika said maybe. Because you can go with, like, well, she he saved her and stuff, you know? So, like, in a way, maybe it's like she's saving him or stopping something or another. But I think Armin, too, is, like, he doesn't usually have to kill things. Usually he's thinking of stuff, and he's yeah. been his best friend for so long. And he is also a titan, you know? Like, sure. maybe there's something about Armin that could be it. But, I don't know, maybe Mikasa doing it, too, could be. I mean, Aaron probably... I feel like it's those two, right? Aaron probably would not expect him to do it. So he might be the best candidate. Yeah. I don't know. If it's anyone, it's himself. Aaron kills himself. Or allows himself to be killed. I don't think it's Reiner. I don't think it's Cart. I don't think it's, you know what I, I mean? I don't think it's I think it has to come Gabby, down yeah. to, for me, I think it has to come down to Mikasa or, or Armin. But it's true. Maybe they can convince him. Maybe something changes. Maybe maybe it's more of a, like, they do convince him, but he decides, yeah, sure, to end his life and what he's done versus giving up and controlling things. Because, like, who's going to trust him after what he's done kind of thing? Like, what's the answer otherwise? But I don't know. When is the last time Reiner has had a W? He's just gotten his ass beat over and over and over and over and over. I mean, kind of never, because he never really, half of him never wanted to do what he was doing. Well, yeah, but that half is like a fake, (laughs) weird, broken mind half, you know? Where he's like, he really believes he's Reiner from this country and he's a soldier as opposed to the warrior. So yes, I guess. (laughs) The first episode. This is when he comes crashing through. I mean, yeah. he beat after Aaron. that, it's all downhill. He, he, he stole, um, uh, what's her name? Ymir, but not Ymir. Oh, yeah, they got her and took her to the other land. Yeah. But she also, like, turned herself in. Just like she let herself be taken. It's just become like a trope of this show. It's like, and then this is the scene where Ryan gets his ass beat. <laughs> Your stupid face beat yourself hours ago. Yeah. I mean, I love the scene, and I understood where Jean was coming from. Then he had to just go walk, you know. Yeah. And he came back, and he dealt with the shit, and hopefully, <laughs> he's like, "All right, let's do this." And I love Levi. Just like we we see shut him, up. he's out. We, the next time we see him is 15 minutes later. Please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to grieve any air any grievance. <laughs> he just needs to kill Zeke. No, I love that. I see all these, like, I feel like we're getting close to the end, but I see all these pathways. Yeah. I don't know which one it's going to take. I don't know. Sure. Like, them having Levi, is it going to mean anything? Can can Levi, will he be healed enough to help? Or No. Yeah, not by the time they need him. Uh, Narratively, why not kill him if yeah. he's not going to do something? Or leave him somewhere else, you know? Like, take him, give him to, give him to that family who helped Gad. And, 
hey, you guys take care of this guy. Sure. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Unless they turn him into a Titan, which I don't think he wants or will allow to happen. Well, unless it's giving him, like, what if Levi eats Aaron? What if that is, like, the, the sacrifice? Like, what if it is, like, well, we can't trust me, but we can trust Levi. We give him, like, all the powers. What if there's this, like, the Ackermans have this Children of Ymir thing where they can regrow their bodies separate from the Titan curse? Well, he hasn't yet. And for those of you with your Attack on Titan blind with bigger cards, a theory that involves Levi eating a Titan, or getting a Titan, being a Titan, mark it. <laughs> I think we've done it every episode. I mean, there's well, only so many ways he can be fixed, right? Yeah. Like, there's no sense of means. Sure. Unless, or he never gets fixed. Unless this campaign goes on for years mm-hmm. of, of trampling the entire earth, killing everyone else, like, I don't think he's going to be healed in time. Sure. So my, my idea was just like, well, you, you fix him one way, you eat a titan, you get that. Another way is like, well, who are you going to trust if we do convince Aaron not to do this? Like, sure. Well, I feel like a lot of people would trust Levi. He's been there since the beginning and always been a been fighting for whatever, you know? He's been a staunch defender of... Yeah, maybe that's a thing you can do. I don't know. Humanity. I don't know. He's trying to think. I know he's an Ackerman, but he's still an Eldian, right? I forget. I forget. We talked about that at one point. I forget how... Yeah. I don't know if there's any different... Yeah, they, they have a they have certain the, special rule where they can't be affected by the... Uh, the Founder Titans. The like, Founder Titans. Memory thing, right? Yeah, Jedi Mind Trick thing. But that doesn't mean they can't be a Titan. But they're also oh, no. supernaturally yeah. compelled yeah. to protect mm-hmm. the royal family. Yeah. Maybe... And then they have no. <laughs> they have that green switch inside of them too that just makes them fight crazily. Not green. superhuman. Yeah, it's like a green lightning. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, and you could say it's me- metaphorical, but like that's the visual that we've been given, and there, it's not necessarily superhuman, but there's something about it where it's. Yeah. I thought it was. It's just almost their, like a power. I thought it was just their scout livery flashing. Yeah. Well, it like we when Mika used it that one time, it went like inside of her electric her nervous system Mm -hmm. you know like like something in her body seemed to trigger yeah when she killed those uh human traffickers Mm -hmm. just it's such a great show to have such well-defined characters where they're the best case scenarios we're gonna talk this guy out of genocide i'm going i don't know i don't think it's gonna work (laughs) it's like i don't think you can do that it sounds seems like something that should be easy to talk someone out of doing i think we can do that but aaron you know? know I don't know. I, I'm like you, Rick. I have no idea where it's going to go. There's always different ways, but at the very least... The show has always surprised me. Yeah. And and we got to go get Flock. Yeah. That'd be fun to watch. Yeah. I always <laughs> like to see him square. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully save that one lady. I'll bite your legs off! <laughs> <laughs> to the next. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Attack on Titan with us. Uh, we don't know how much more we have to go here in part two, but we do know there's going to be a part three. We know there's going to be more. We know that you need to subscribe to be able to see our reactions to all of it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week. Bye.